I needed the support of the youth programs to progress and to get where I am. Uh, for sure, without that, I wouldn't be where I am. It's a show, but if you move about it, then it's a go. Yeah. Man, if you talking about it, right. it's a show. But if you move about it, then it's a go. Man, if you talking about it, it's a show. They're born with that because I used to go to races every weekend. And I take them, the wife and the kids. So they just grew up into the cycling world. Yeah, it was um, like I said, a family sport. My dad raised, my older brother raised. Um, I kind of just followed in their footsteps. Uh, we would do the weekend races together and go on rides on the uh, weekdays and when we had time. My dad would take us training on the weekends. We'd go to different parks um, when there was no races. When there was races, before we raced, we would go watch him race sort of some of the local races. Um, once we started racing, he would kind of devote his attention to us. He would race a little bit, but his racing days kind of dwindled as he started taking care of us and taking care of our bikes and making sure we had our numbers and making sure we had the water and the food and get to the race on time. So he started racing less and less the more George and I began to kind of race more. Also training, if, if you have kids, you should train with the kids and take them you know, after the school and go out with, I, I used to do that, go out, go out with them and, and wait for them and tell them what to do. But they, and the team, especially the team, they need the help from, from coaches and, and everything else. Drivers, because at that, at that age you can't drive, so and somebody's got to take you to a race. When I was young, I was on a, a local team out of New York that uh, helped me um, progress in the sport, got me equipment. Um, cycling is a very expensive sport, so it was very helpful that I had a, a support of a team that would help me get a good racing bike and um, the equipment I needed to uh, to perform well. Um, so I would race for a couple of local teams in New York and then as I progressed from there I got on the national team early on and they also helped support me and bring me to bigger races in Europe and allow me to race against the best competition in the world. Happy Development Team is, uh, is designed to help top-level amateur cyclists make their way to the pro ranks. And so we try really hard to give them some opportunities and some training and some mentoring to help them make that step to the next level. We try to do camps throughout the year where um, the kids can ride with myself and some of the other local pros and uh, A, see, see the work that it takes to, to, to race at a high level. You know, it's, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no shortcuts. You got to train hard, and you got to, you got to sacrifice your whole life for the sport. So for them to see that firsthand, I think is very important. And also, to be around a team atmosphere um, where they have, you know, the best equipment, the best bikes, and we like to think they have great management and great coaches that can help them um, race well at the national level. Um, you know, they can only progress from there. So we just want to give them that 
sort of stepping stone so they can um, progress and become you know, the best uh, they can be. The best aspect of the development team is being able to find yourself and, and have the support to do that. I mean, you can't just jump into one of the bigger teams in, in the sport and think you can survive if you don't have the baby steps up to that through the development team and you're really not going to know if you can reach that or, or know if that's where you want to go. You know, when you, when you look at when you look at expectations of a race, uh, a lot of it depends on the level race you're at. As a developmental program, our biggest expectation is that the kids race well. All right, that they follow their plan, that we talk about appropriate things for us to do, and they execute that plan. You know, as a developmental team, as a developmental program, we've got to stress the the importance of racing together as a as a team. For example, you go to a criterium and you see your friends racing in the criterium and you're with them and you're warming up and most people are just talking. But we were taught, and this kind of transitions into life too, we were taught to look at the small details. We were taught to look at where the manhole cover was in the apex of the corner, where the pothole was on the back stretch, where the wind was coming from. Look for a flag on a pole, even if it's a criterium. Um, you know, how, how many pedal strokes what out of the last turn, you know, try to do a couple efforts. Try to get a feel of a situation where you can kind of mentally prepare before you're actually in that situation. When you look at nationals, uh, especially on the junior level, it's, it's one of the only times that you get big groups of juniors together. Uh, in the U.S., most of the time, juniors are racing in the senior categories, and it's, it's hard to compare how well they're doing, you know, because they're racing against guys that are older than them, guys that are on senior gearing, when they're on junior gearing. So when you look at it, now you can compare against your peer group, you know, your age group, and that's really important to see where the development is. Uh, it was a yeah, fast race, we were doing 30 plus miles an hour almost the whole time and then I uh, uh, you know, did one attack when everybody pushed him sat up and uh, had a you know, pretty good size gap, you know, probably 15 seconds, 20 seconds and then uh, the headwind section just killed me. You know, I was doing alright staying up north, towards the front the first two thirds and the uh, last two thirds I started fading a little bit towards the uh, middle to the back. That's what this is for. This is experience. To take you guys on to the next level. Next year, you know what to come expect now. You know what to think about. And here's, here's the thing, dude. We look at this team and we, every year we, we get a little harder. Next year, we're going to do harder races in the, in the early season to better prepare for something like this. All right? It's about, it's about, <laughs> it's about development. All right? Uh, I mean, cycling, like, the rest of life's all full of setbacks, and you have that with, with, uh, every aspect of the sport really and every every step of the, along the way to becoming a professional. Um, that's the I mean the, the best part about being in a, a younger program is you have the support to come through those and, and to find yourself along the way. I mean everyone's gonna deal with crashes or bad form, or bad races, bad tactical choices, everything and you just it's all part of the learning process and why the development program is so important. You know, for me, it's for them to um, grow and improve and work hard and, you know, kind of take a little bit out of the sport that'll, that'll help them with life in general. When you race for a development team, you learn about all aspects of life because your first big block's out of your parents' home and your first block of traveling and new cultures, new, new friends. You're just exposed to so many things outside of cycling itself that really prepares you for, for the rest of your life as well.